What's going on guys? Thanks for checking into this video. Um, I'm going to be covering some different changes that have been happening since I've been 20 months on tea and a few things that have changed in my life and appreciate you watching. Alright, so as far as transition goes, um, I only have a few changes to report. Um, everything has been pretty leveled out since I uh, hit about my one year mark on T. A few things that have changed um, is my chest here. Starting to get a little bit of peach fuzz on my chest. Um, and it's coming in darker than it was before, so it's starting to actually come in. And before it came in, uh, I broke out on my chest real bad, but I could tell that that was where my chest hair was coming in. So hopefully I'm not that guy that has to like shave his chest all the time because it'll be like popping out of my shirt. The goal is not to get to that point, but even if that does end up happening, I guess I'll just shave a lot. So as long as that doesn't get out of hand, I'll be happy with it. Second for my transition update is acne. My arms and my back are breaking out extra and what I learned when my face broke out so bad was that my facial hair was coming in. So what I'm thinking is that the hair and the peach fuzz really on my arms and my back are probably going to be coming in a little bit thicker and a little bit darker here in the next few months. Hopefully that will be sooner than later because I cannot stand having this acne. It seems like it's everywhere and it's just frustrating. But what does help is besides washing it in the shower, um, is putting on lotion afterwards to kind of rehydrate the skin. So I've just been trying to do that and hang in there until it comes in all the way. And then hopefully it'll clear up. I probably should have shaved before this, but the third update is definitely my facial hair. It seems to be coming in a lot thicker um, and the line itself is going up a little bit on both sides. Um, this piece right here in the center of my chin is definitely coming in, but it's probably at the same thickness as my upper lip. My upper lip has not been growing in very fast or very thick. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm happy with the results I have and we'll just see what happens from here. It's happening and I'm thankful for it and it helps my dysphoria a lot. So, um, which is really funny because when I first started tea, I did not want facial hair. I wanted to keep it clean face, baby shaved all the time. Um, and now that I have it, I can't imagine my face without it and I definitely won't be shaving my beard anytime soon. And my fourth transition update is that my voice is still cracking. Um, it doesn't, it didn't, it's not cracking as much as it did when I first started transitioning, but it's still definitely cracking. I'll randomly be talking. I don't even have to be worked up. It'll randomly just drop on a dime. Me and my girlfriend laugh about it and then we just move on. So that about wraps up my transition updates. I really don't have any extra changes uh, to report for my transition, but I do have some updates for my life and I want to share them with you. First of all, I'm super pumped to report that my blog is up and running, launched and ready for people to look at. I'm super excited about it, officiallyerin.com. Um, so it's kind of where I've been keeping my blog posts, which kind of go into a little bit more detail about things. So there's some insights on my transition that aren't reported on my YouTube channel. I also have details on there for what I do for a living and for people to learn a little bit more about me and a contact page so that way people can reach me if they want to collaborate or talk to me about anything or reach out or have questions. Um, so that's a great resource as well. In the future, I'll plan on having a whole services page for what I do for a living as well as a whole resources page for um, whether you're a parent of a trans person or you're a trans person going through your journey right now and you're needing some resources to kind of navigate how to start tea and the paperwork needed and it'll all be in one place to help people because that's the whole goal of this YouTube channel it's the whole goal of what I do second life update so next month will be my one year of doing my business full-time on my own um, being a business owner trying to manage my time reaching out and creating new relationships one of the best parts of being a business owner um, is being able to choose who I work with, being able to choose who my clients are. Um, and I'm super thankful that I've been able to go almost this entire year based on mainly working with trans businesses, trans ran businesses, trans owned businesses, trans positive businesses. Um, and I'm super grateful for that. And because of that, I've been able to build great relationships with big names like Trans Tape and Gender Cat and FTM Pit Stop. And I'm just super thankful to be able to work in our space. Super excited that I was able to make it this far and I'm super pumped to see where it takes me next. My third life update is that I've upgraded my camera gear and lighting setup. It's been a minute since I put, I don't even think I ever posted about the fact that I got a new camera. I dropped some cash and invested in myself, invested in my business and bought a Canon Rebel T7i, which I'm super pumped about. I got a few different lenses for it, got some lighting gear, just to make sure that my content is quality, um, easy to look at, easy to watch, um, and I just enjoy creating film. So um, I think that about wraps up my life transition updates. I appreciate you guys watching and checking in with me. Thankful to be alive every day and just trying to maintain positivity and share it with you guys so you guys can feel it as well. Um, I love you guys. I will check you guys 
in the next video. <laughs>